Hi, my name is Tanya. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In case you like what you see, then please hit the like and subscribe button and maybe also push the little bell button so that you can see whenever I make a new video. So today I want to talk about a famous saying by Ramana Maharshi. He is um, a teacher of Advaita Vedanta or non-duality. Your business is only to surrender and leave everything to me. So this is talked about in a lot of spiritual teachings. Also in the Bhagavad Gita it said that you should only do your best and not think about the outcome. And here is why. Have you ever come across a situation in your life where you actually did your best but still your project failed? For example, you were married and you did everything for your partner, maybe you cooked for your partner, you never cheated on your partner, you maybe even went to um, couple therapy together, but still the marriage broke up and you got divorced. Or another example, let's say you went to school, you had good grades and you learned a lot and you studied, but then maybe one of your parents got sick and you had to quit school in order to stay at home and help them and so you never had a school degree, you could never finish for whatever reason even though you tried your best there. So there are hundreds of different ways how it can go wrong in life, how we actually can do our best but still the project fails. And here's where the saying of Ramana Maharshi comes in. So you should actually only do your best and not think about the success of the whole thing or the outcome. And here is the reason why he says that. The purpose of life is only to live. The purpose of life is not to succeed. And that is something that we often do not get. Because with our minds, with our thinking minds, we go like, we are only successful if we succeed in marriage, if we succeed in the job, if we earn a lot of money, if we own a lot of things, uh, if we have a school degree, a university degree or whatever. This is the thinking mind. And the thinking mind is now reached, for example, by things like Hollywood movies. Hollywood movies tend to tell us that everything has to have a happy end and that there is a happily ever after. But can this be true? No, it cannot. <laughs> it can't because everything in life that has a beginning also has to have an ending. It's very simple. So, for example, the dinosaurs lived on the earth, but they had to die in order to humans, for humans to live here. Or the earth as a planet, it will also not, ex um, not be here in the universe forever. It will one day not be there anymore because everything that starts also needs to have an end and that's the reason why there can't be any happily ever after <laughs> because happiness is just one side of the duality so the purpose of life is only to live and to live means to live all the ups and downs with it to have the tears and the sorrow and also the happiness so you cannot have a happily ever after or a sad ever after <laughs> this is just not how life is functioning and many people get that wrong because we are so influenced by others who tell us that life is only a success if you succeed in something, if you succeed at school, etc. But that's not it. Actually, and here's the good news, you are already a succeeder. You are already successful if you only sit and breathe. Yeah. <laughs> really. That's why somebody who spends all of his life in meditation, like for example a Buddhist monk, is still successful in life because he does actually the basic thing that life is, to sit and breathe. <laughs> There's not much more to it. So you actually did everything right and you can't do anything wrong and that's the good news about it. So every one of us has to deal with the same thing. We have to... Um, Acknowledge that everything that has a beginning also has an end and that also means that if you're happy it will end someday and if you're sad if it will also end someday. The good thing is we can just do our best 
and not think about the outcome. And if something doesn't work, we just go to the next thing and do our best there. That's how easy it is. So don't be sad about the things that didn't work out in your life because in the end something new will begin and that's what endings are for, for new beginnings. If you liked what you heard, then please like and subscribe and click the bell and I hope you join me in my other videos. Um, I hope you have a good day. <laughs> Bye, lovely people out there.